where do you stand like personally going into you know another year in the playoffs? I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. Uh, we we discussed it this morning at our team film. So when you look at it, when I put the final standings of the regular season up in front of everybody, it's impressive because you know we had a lot of trials and tribulations this year. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't easy, and for us to come in second, which gives us the best chance to you know get a get two home games you know if we continue to win and you know whatever happens with LAFC or you know there look LA Galaxy and Minnesota were the only teams that had a positive record against LAFC so you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs with that one game format so I am very happy and proud of those guys and I told them so this morning I said I'm very proud that you guys dug deep and and got into second I'm working on a little something highlighting your guys' analytics team. And as you look at the format, once the playoffs start up, it's kind of a bang, bang, bang type thing. How do you think that having that team monitoring your workloads and everything else might be an advantage for you guys? Well, it's definitely going to be an advantage. We've done that all season. And, you know, the last two seasons since Damien's been here, we've really done a good job of periodization. And... Uh, Amber gets all of the data from training. They measure it not just by day, but by weeks. They add the game totals in there, so the player is trying to be consistent from week to week. The athletes are, you know, we can kick them in the butt a little bit if they're not doing enough, or we hold them back if they're doing too much based on how much they sprint in the game. You've got a very tight window. If we pass, if we get past Dallas, we got to play on that Wednesday. And being at home, Having all of the data, physical data, all of that is certainly going to be an advantage. What are your overall thoughts on just the new format? Do you like the excitement of the one-off, or did you like the two legs? I think I said yesterday, I said, you know, talk to me when it's over. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I, again, I warned the players. I said, look, it's different this year. I think they all knew, but I just wanted to make sure we reestablished our goals. Our goal is MLS Cup. It's four games away. It's single elimination. If you don't play well in that one game, well, then you're going home. So for me, you know, I can see why the league did it. You know, there were those funky international breaks in between, the, you know, in the playoffs in years past. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. How much communication, sorry, do you have with the players who are with the international teams this week? Well, look, we'll, we'll check in with them, but, you know, we don't have any real direct communication. The U.S. has been really good about sending all the data, the data from training uh, to us. Other uh, federations have done a good job. You might want to check into that, Matt, who does and who doesn't. But we get reports. We obviously see how much they play in any of the games, and then we you know, get them back here and assess them and see if they're good to go. You said Sunday that you were going to take some time maybe to reflect, and I might have missed the beginning of this, but as far as the season goes, um, to reflect on it, I mean, how would you describe it? It was positive, Jada. You did miss a little of it. I, I, I'm very proud of them. You know, they, they, they went through a lot of adversity to come to second. So I, I'm very, very proud of them. I'm very happy that we made it to second because it was a struggle. And, you know, it'll it'll hopefully help us in the playoffs. To kind of a little bit of a pivot, um, with your system, how difficult or if at all do you think it is for, for new players to adapt to or to understand? For our system? Yeah, your, yeah, your, your overall schemes. Are... Well, they've been doing it all year. If they don't know it by now, then I haven't well, been doing my do. job. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's a little bit of Satini. Like well, as as, well know, Emmanuel, that's, that's a separate topic. I mean, he came, yeah, middle of the season. But by now, he's figured out how we train, why we train, what we do. I mean, they get used to it pretty quick. A lot of veteran guys on the team. How important is it for them to share their experiences with guys who haven't experienced the playoffs? Yet? Well... I think to answer some of the other questions, you know, it's different because it's a one-game playoff. I don't know how many guys on this squad were at the 2016 play-in game for Sporting KC. I think it was Nico for sure. Uh, Roman was in that game. Uh, Christian was in that game. I mean, that's the kind of atmosphere and energy and kind of nervous energy you're going to get in some of these games. So, yeah, it is important. You know, look, all the internationals, you know, they've all had experiences that you know playing for their national teams and all that in big games so I think it'll be fine uh, I think our team is mentally ready and again I just keep coming back to it I'm, I'm so proud that they came in second and that's going to be a big positive for us 
you know, kind of taking the bigger picture um, of you guys, I mean, you've been such a su successful franchise, um, you know, among all professional leagues. Um, do, you know, how impressed are you at the longevity of your success? Of the well, we we're just touching wood all the time. That doesn't stop anytime soon. Or else that would mean I'd need a new job. <laughs> Uh, somebody asked me this for my mailbag last week, and I forgot to ask you. Um, what type of coffee do you drink before games when you have that cup that you're walking out with before every game? Well, we're not supposed to promote corporations on this show, are we? I mean, the, 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 it's, the, it's the stadium coffee. I think it's Starbucks. I'm not 100% sure, but it's hot because they have one of those uh, Bunsen heaters on the butt, and it's hot. Gonzo actually drinks more than I do. So you guys all see me there, but in inside the locker room, Gonzo drinks about four or five of those cups. Cream, sugar? Uh, just cream. Uh, Ralph Rudez uh, has been in, in a little bit of a scoring drought. Uh, is there anything you've seen in, in the games that's uh, contributed to that? It's just one of those things? And just one of those things. I mean, look, we've talked about, it's a good question, because we've certainly discussed how to get him the ball in the right spots. That certainly is part of what we want to do because we know when Raul scores, the team is successful. But as overall, if you look at the stats compared to goals per game, I mean, his goals per game output is pretty high. So, okay, a little slump here, but all strikers go through that little bit of ups and downs. And, you know, I, I, I got plenty of confidence Raul, when the ball's at his foot in the right spot, he's going to score. Following up on that, uh, the defense has uh, turned it around. Uh, what do you need to see from the offense as you uh, look to get into Dallas to get a little bit more scoring? Well, I think it, it comes back to the comments we were making this last, you know, whatever, eight, ten games, six games of the year. We didn't have that consistency. You know, I think both, both the attacking and the defending had, you know, moments we'd win 4-3. You know, is that good? Is that bad? Okay, the attacking group's good, but the defending's not so good. You know, we need to find consistency in the playoffs. We need uh, players to continue to believe that they can keep a clean sheet. And then I know the guys like Raul, they, they believe, they have the confidence they can score. Dallas came here a couple weeks ago and it was a tough game, not a lot of attacking. Are you expecting that to flip on its head now that it's the playoffs, be a little more open, or what are you, what are you expecting from that? I have no idea what Lucci's going to do, but I know he's a good coach. His team will be prepared. Coach, I know you said step by step first, but we like to face Portland in the next round. <laughs> sure, a little revenge? Yeah, of course. But, you know, we have to win and they have to win. So we'll see. Sunday had a very playoff-like atmosphere at the stadium. What's your message to the fans to hopefully have a similar vibe? Like well, it was that? awesome. So we have some of the office staff down here today to celebrate Oktoberfest, have some bratwurst and some beer, and it's a gorgeous day out here. They did a real nice job of getting 48,000 people in the building. The fans, I thank you guys for all showing up, all 48,000 plus, because I know people were watching at home. I know my mother was watching at home. Uh, it's great to have all of the support. Again, it just it just speaks to again how important that second place was. Uh, Victor Rodriguez is out here running around. Uh, how's he doing? Uh, does He's look doing great. They'll do the same thing. They'll fit him with a flak jacket and they'll prep him. And he just needs when it's pain tolerant, he'll play. <laughs>